Yeah. Joining me now is Toff's best pal, Jess Woodley, along with our Dan. She's doing great. Yeah, I mean, I do actually think she has a very high chance of winning this. I think she w I think she may win. See, you know her. Yeah. Obviously, we, you know, and yeah. if you've not watched three, you really don't know her at all. No. But actually, even if you watch the show, this is a different girl we're yeah. seeing, isn't well, it? Well, the thing is, like, Toff is at heart a winner. She's a winner. And I think for, this is great for her because you can really see the real her. Sure. And this is the real her, 100%. I mean, the only thing that I think she's finding hard is the fact that she hasn't got any meatballs. Oh, did she like meatballs? <laughs> she is so crazy Obsessed about meatballs. She's like crazy oh, about meatballs and a foot long subway. <laughs> right. Well, if she gets through to the final, because yeah. they get to choose, oh, don't they? Someone they're, will they're bring dinner. her. Yeah, exactly. She'll be able to do that. She will 100% have meatballs. 100%. But she's interesting because she's chats away. I mean, there was some indication that she, she is very interested in politics. Yeah. She'd like a career in politics. Extremely. Which, which she would never think looking at her, which I know you shouldn't judge people by that or yeah. judge people by, you know, the persona in a, in, yeah. a, in a TV show. But there's a lot to this kid. No, there's a lot to no, her. Toph is it? extremely intelligent and like all of us, you know, she's far smarter than me and you know, she's always quizzing me about stuff that I have absolutely no <laughs> idea about. But I think that she she potentially would want a career in yeah. um, in politics. I think she's she could be the next Prime Minister. <laughs> well, she's the even... deputy at the moment, isn't she? Is she? The there was that great moment, moment last straight. night when Stanley Johnson, <laughs> finally a Johnson, does get to number 10. Yeah. Yes. And Toff is his, is, her, is his deputy, so yeah. maybe she's picking up some advice I from think him. She's, sli she's slyly going to take his job, and I think, but I think that their relationship relationship together is really, really funny. Like, I think he yeah. does think she's a sweet, sweet girl. And you yeah. think she could potentially one day end up Prime Minister of... of, <laughs> I, of I, would have, I would not put it past her. Right. I wouldn't put it past her. She is, she's not scared of anything, No, she? she's not. She's fearless and she's, like, she's so fun and bouncy and, like, I just think she's in her element. Yeah, she I is really very do. much so. Very yeah. Much. Why do you think she did this? What was the reason that she went I in there? I think, actually, because being on a show like Made in Chelsea, you know, wow, it, as, as real as it is, there's times where you don't truly get to be your, your real self. You sure. know, scenes get cut, things get shortened. Mm -hmm. So she's right now, she's like, this is my chance to show everyone what I really, really am like. Right, OK. Although, again, you are at the mercy of the editor. Because, yeah. I mean, you know, you yeah, can't show it all, respect, can't but you? not, but not as much as you are sure. on the show. No, I understand. I understand. So it's like you know, she gets to, she gets to reveal herself. No, she does. And she went into the jungle single, yeah. right? So she'd just broken up with this guy James, James, yeah, James yeah. Middleton, not B James not Middleton, James another, another James no, Middleton. Another difficult yeah. to keep up, isn't <laughs> no, it? He's and, lovely. And then some people were thinking maybe something would go on with her and Jack Maynard. I mean, I, I wasn't like. I mean, I thought that. He quite fancied her, did you not? Yeah, definitely. I think, I think, I think you would fancy Toph. Well, who wouldn't Toph. have you seen in exactly. bikini? She I looks think, amazing. I think, yeah, I think anyone would fancy Toff, but, you know, her and James are on and off. Like, he's a lovely man, but they've, they're not together. Yeah, she is single. Um, because there's some speculation maybe there are still feelings there between them because he's been watching the show. Between and Jack? Yeah, no, with James, James. and I mean, Toff because he's been posting yeah, love be hearts and all of that type it, of thing. We, he'll miss her. Yeah. They have, like, a, you know, it's one of those relationships where it's on and off. They both work so much. Yeah. That they're not, you know, they're not together. Mm. Well, you never but know. You never, never know. know. Might, you never might know. Happen. Yeah. She's got time in there to think about stuff. Yeah. He's got time to miss her. Exactly. Who knows? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But interestingly, though, Jess, you think that when she comes out of the jungle, she'll still go back to Made in Chelsea and is very committed to the yeah, show. Yeah, I think she will go back to Made in Chelsea. She is committed. She is. I think, you know, she's the best on that show. Mm -hmm. I think she's. She's oh gosh, here we are seeing her eating her. things. And she just laughed her head off doing this. I yeah, mean, it was, I think, just, it was yummy. Yeah, <laughs> it's she, gorgeous. She's, she, honestly, it's, she loves food, so I thought that these, <laughs> she'll, she'll oh, think it's meatballs. Oh, God, I tell you, I could never in a million years could I yeah, do that. That is remarkable. <laughs> now, looking at other contestants, we yeah. saw Ian Lee, didn't yeah. we? And he, well, I thought he was going to be, you know, really the one that was going to sort of get everybody at each other's throats kind of thing. Mm. And when he did that, that, but that was a horrible, horrible, horrible challenge, Yeah, no, I think that's it? the worst one I've ever had. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do any I of I couldn't them. do that. No, I really couldn't but do that. But really, one. there's no way. And if you're not a confident swimmer or you're not confident in the water, that's not yeah. going to be And I guess thing. what we have to remember with Ian as well is he's going through a real emotional struggle he here. He's spoken very openly about his depression, yeah. the fact that he is on antidepressants mm. when he's in it's the really jungle. It's really quite upsetting, actually. Yeah, but I think at the same time, you know what? This is something that we're a lot of people are talking up about at the moment, bat yeah. battling with mental health, and I think there's no reason why he shouldn't have been able to go into the yeah. jungle. As long as he's but okay. everyone just has yeah. to accept that yeah. maybe he needs sure. a little bit of leeway sometimes. Absolutely. And but he was so right. devastated oh, for not being able to do that yeah. job. So thank I think goodness. it was his kids, wasn't yeah. it? He was really thinking about his kids. But last night, thank goodness, um, they did, with Rebecca and Jamie, yeah. they did manage to get all of 
those points. And it's quite nice as well to see the jungle bringing people together because Kim Marsh, remember, she had that relationship with Jamie. And she's actually been tweeting um, right. about him and saying that she's there to support him That's very really much. Nice. That's really nice. That's good. Well, so sort of That's good. Excellent. Good. Thank you, guys. Yeah.